We're going to start by diagnosing the short and the brake lights. The diagnostic pattern identified the B-plus circuit as the most likely problem area to cause all the brake lights to be inoperative. We use the short detection function of the ECT2000 to identify the location of the short. Let's start with the schematic and tell you why we started what we did, where we injected our signal, and how we walked it through to pinpoint the exact area where the short was in the circuit. We're going to inject here the 100 milliamp signal at pin 6 of the left rear lamp assembly. It's going to fill this entire red area with our 100 milliamp signal that we can use to trace our signal. Now when we do this we find that the beeper is going telling us we have a short and we also have a red light saying there's a short or a ground on this circuit. Obviously if this is the B plus circuit we should not have a ground. If we were on a ground circuit this would be normal. So we have identified our problem. When we take our short detector and put it up on the wiring going away from the left rear lamp assembly, the light points toward the front of the car. We're using the diagram so you understand how to take the diagram and diagnose. This is really important. Let's move this around other parts of the circuit because even though we have told you where the short is, I want to show you how we found that short. So let's move it to the other lamp. We go to the other side and we take the right rear lamp assembly out and we put it up against there, we get a very weak indication pointing toward the rear of the vehicle. Now remember our problem? If we have a weak signal, it could be because we have a lamp. If we wanted to avoid this weak signal, we could remove the lamp in the right rear assembly and we would not get this alert on that circuit. But remember, we have another way of doing that. We can go back here to where we were, press our sensitivity switch while we're at the high rate and lock this in so it only detects strong signals going from the source to the short. The other circuits, like the lights in the, the right rear lamp assembly, won't give us an alert anymore because it's a weak signal. Let's look at what the map looks like. See these heavy lines? These heavy lines are now the only place we get a strong signal. This is the only places we're going to see and it's always pointing toward the front of the vehicle. So by using the sensitivity, it took us right where we need to go to get us there. We've used this to improve our short detection. Now we've got to break it down further. We know it's at the front. We see where we are now. It's pointing out toward the ABS module. So the short is out toward the ABS. Now it's time to pinpoint the root cause of the problem. There are two possible causes of the short to the ground. The ABS module could have been damaged in the collision. The wiring to pin 15 on the ABS module could be shorted to ground. Either one could give us a problem. If the ABS controller is shorted, the receiver indication for a short will point toward the module out under the hood when it's pointed toward the ABS connector. That will identify an ABS problem for us in the module. If the short is between the splice and the firewall or at the firewall, there will be no indication under the hood because the short is before the harness exit out under the hood. We won't be able to see the short. So we have two choices. Here is our pattern analysis. We have taken the time to analyze these. So when we make a test, we have two diagnostic directions. And getting a diagnostic direction is important. You should expect to know the answer and have the two possibilities and say, oh, when I see this reading, it's going to send me here or there. And not say, oh, I don't know what that means. I think I'll try something else. We're going in with a full expectation of what we expect to see. So let's go look at that and see how it works. We come in here, we walked up there, we point under the hood. We get under the hood, there is no signal. The strong short indication is only present on the heavy lines and we don't go out of the hood. We go outside of the hood and do a test, we have no signal. What does that mean to us? Let's go look at that one more time. The signal ends after the short understanding what we've seen. So when we go into the hood, the short happened at the firewall. Here's what it looks like when we go to our schematic for the ABS module. Again, here's a, a pattern where it shows us one simple thing with the brake switch and says it's going other places and showing just how the brake switch relates to the ABS module. And there's the ABS module over there on the side where we do our testing. When we come in here, we find it shorted to the firewall. 
we hook it up. The wiring from the going from the brake switch out to us, it's going under the hood. We get under the hood, all the lights are off. It does not point to it. So the last step is to find the short now in the wiring as it goes through the firewall. This is where the tone is going to help you. As you move around the uh, wiring harness, you'll notice the tone comes and goes. It's helping you pinpoint exactly where the short is. And when you finally get down and look closely, you'll see where the wiring harness has been pinched against a sharp edge and it's shorted the ground. This is going to solve the problem of our brake lights. Now let's go look at the second problem we have.